Um, uh, like she said, my name is Jesse, and um, obviously this wouldn't be a um, thing about thanks and gratitude if I didn't thank uh, Jessica for inviting me and for all of you and uh, accepting me in this moment um, to speak to you because um, just the, the, the power of somebody listening to you is enough to be thankful for. So um, thank you all for listening. Um, I wrote some note cards to guide me because um, it's my first time speaking from my heart. So um, uh, yeah, this will <laughs> be um, helpful, hopefully. But um, uh, in, in beginning with this um, attitude of gratitude, uh, when she asked me to uh, speak on that, one thing came to mind, and it's the one thing that I, I just always tell pe people. I'm like, we are all just one bad hospital bill away from being homeless. And as bad as that may seem, um, and how do I know that, you know? And, and how do I know that to be grateful for not having something? Um, and I just want to tell you a short story, like an ambulance ride, I, I'm the first person to tell people, like, no, get me an Uber before you ever get me in an ambulance, because I have paid that bill, and it's a very expensive bill. And, um, you know, that's from experience. I know to be thankful um, in the hospital room whenever I go to the ER and be like, oh, Thank goodness I was uh, able to drive here. Uh, as a matter of fact, in uh, in January I went to the hospital and for a, fe a simple fever, and then the bill comes and the copay and everything. So I'm very thankful, first of all, to have insurance and I pay. And so, regardless of how much money you know is being paid in comparison to how much I or any of us make, no matter what the ratio is, there is this sense of there are so many worse things that can happen to any of us at any time that could change our life. You know, I, I mean, I went in for a fever and there's so many other things that people are in the hospital for that can, you know, change our personal lives if that were to happen to any of us. And it, it shouldn't take a hospital visit for, you know, me or any of us to start to count our blessings, so to speak, right? To be thankful. And so um, in this example, this weird example that I started to give, it's all going to make sense in just a second. I, I, I realized that there's two ways to express gratitude. And uh, the two ways are, one, uh, you can express gratitude, uh, be grateful from experience or an empathetic level. So we've all heard of empathy before. When you're expressing empathy with somebody, it's because you know you've experienced it before. You know firsthand. Um, the second way that you can express gratitude is on a just very simple human sympathetic level. And so sympathy, I think I got those right. I always got them confused. I had to look it up, to be honest. But sympathy, I believe, is just on a human level. Like, you know, I'm, you know, somebody comes to you and like, oh, you know, my, my grandma just passed or whatever. And you, you may not know that, but you can still have sympathy for them um, as a human being. And I, I think those are the two ways that we can express gratitude. And so me having experienced that ambulance ride, I would, am grateful when I'm in the ER and, and sitting there, you know, I, luckily I'm two lights down from Anaheim Regional, so I'm able to drive myself when I got the flu and I'm in there and the triage has me probably like three, four, five hours deep until I'm seeing a, a doctor and there's people with like blood gushing out. They probably gotta wait an hour. And yet I'm sitting there, thank you God I didn't have to take an ambulance. And that's thank you know gratitude on a uh, empathetic level, and 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 you know, for me to have said um, thank God for I didn't have to take an ambulance. I just want to take a note on that real quick. When you thank God, it does not diminish the human ability. Um, just a side note about myself. I'm I guess could say a non-practicing Catholic for the past ten years, <laughs> and so this is my first time really coming back to. Yeah, um, come on. Jesus God, in, yeah, in the first public space yeah, for the past 10 years. Yeah. Um, I was never a atheistic. I, I've always believed that you know God is there, but I definitely was focused on the scientific method and in that um, arena and, and in that community of science and, and, and you know it was really like college just did me dirty with my <laughs> religion. but you know 10 later, years later I'm coming back and in that community though I heard like, oh, thank God that you got an A on your test well, why study? God's going to help you. Or, 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 you know, thank God I got a raise at work. Let me give thanks. Let me be grateful. Thank you, God, that I got a raise at work. 
well, you know, that was your hard work and, and, and the boss that, that did that. Um, God didn't have a hand in that. You would hear that in the, in the scientific community. And I, I, my rebuttal, I guess it goes to my personal definition. You can uh, disagree, but God is not human. Of course he didn't have a hand in it. God is way more than what we as humans could ever conceptualize. Way more. Like, you have no idea if God had a hand in that or not, or quote unquote hand, right? Uh, for me, no matter what religion or, or you believe in, it, it's the, everyone knows that there's a first something that started everything. There's, there's a first, there's, there's something that put this all into place, that, 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 you know, the domino effect, the ripple effect, we're all here for a reason. And what's that reason, what's that purpose? It's God. I mean, it, what, you know, there's different words that you can put to it, but it's, we're all thinking the same thing. And when you give thanks, to, to God, that's because that's what made everything possible. And so with that, because of that, I'm thankful for just being alive. I mean, we don't even have to go to the extremes. Let me be thankful that I'm alive. Yeah. Let me be thankful for each breath that I take. Let me be thankful for my legs. I, I got a cramp a couple of years ago, and so I had to use crutches. I don't know if everybody, anybody's used crutches before, but you definitely start to re realize, oh, when you have your legs back, you're like, thank you, I got my legs back, I can walk. It, it's a good feeling, so. Um, all these are things that I know. I know I can breathe. I know I'm alive. I think for, therefore I am, right? I, and I know what it felt like to be without my legs. So every single thing, think about it right now. Think about things that you've had taken away that you're thankful for right now. Yeah. Just take a second. Think about those things. Those are things that you can be grateful for on an empathetic level. And so let me talk about the second thing. Now what's harder is recognizing what you don't have. <laughs> And those things add up, right? Those things alone are a lot to be grateful for. And now what's even harder is thinking about things that you don't have and, and showing sympathy. Sympathy is easy when somebody comes to you like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm not feeling good. Like, oh, I sympathize with you. But to, you know, take time out of your life to, to think about the, all the, there's so many things in the world that, that so many problems that we, we don't have. So how do you do that? And I believe, I think it's through um, character. I believe that character is the sum of your habits, and when you make gratitude a habit, it builds into your character. And so not just November, yeah. not just when there's pumpkins around, not just Thanksgiving, <laughs> you know? This is exactly why when we're young, I mean, some of us, I was definitely taught to pray before every meal, and um, even though, you know, there was a time in my life where I didn't do it, and I, but, you know, I did it so often as I was young that I was so great. I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm an adult that goes shopping by myself, uh, and, and, you know, I'm, I'm at Sprouts, and I'm, I'm throwing the food in. I'm like, tomato, thank God, yes, a tomato. That's, I get to eat that, wow. Like, a banana, oh my God, thank God. Like, I'm, I'm throwing food in the cart, like, just being thankful. And obviously not outwardly and, and you know, uh, obnoxiously or anything, but in my mind, I'm taking the time to be thankful for, you know, these, these little things, and, and, and it's, I truly believe it stems from, you know, having, you know, prayed before meals, like, recognizing, and, and I've never, I've never starved, you know, I can come from a place and, and you know, it, and, and we can play the game, like, oh, remember back in the day when we had, like, quesadillas for dinner or the butter on toast like we can go as far as like those old school meals that we've pieced together you know a can of tomatoes is, is tomato soup or, or you know the, the tomato paste like that's tomato soup like regardless of that like I think if you grew up in the United States you've never really starved and so unless you've served in another country or, or, or you know you've never really known true starvation I, I don't think that any of us can really come from an empathetic place for that and so you know, even though we all felt the same way with like, oh, but let's be thankful for this food, it's a sympathetic thing, right? And so, you know, there's so much hurt in the world that we can't think about, or, or we won't experience, we would really won't experience things like maybe perhaps cancer, or loss of a child, allergy to a favorite food, imagine. <laughs> I just found out that I might be allergic to peanuts, and I'm like, this is going to change my whole diet because I would just snack all day. But, <laughs> or, or an un, undesired relocation, you know, perhaps people have families that, you know, you take the, take the relocated. Um, your phone blowing up, um, a hurricane, a tornado, there's all kinds of things that, like, you know, I, that we can think of. An earthquake, 
like, I experienced Northridge in 94. Like, to this day, I still close my cupboards, like, all the time. And I'm like, all right, thank you. Today, there's not an earthquake. Well, not every day, I think. Well, but, you know, <laughs> pretty often, I'm, like, very weird about closing all my cupboards. So, so, you know, not just during hurricane season should we be thankful. Like, you know, we should be thankful for these things all the time. And the point is, as I wrap up here, is that even to make that list, I had to sit and I was thinking for a good hot minute, you know? Like, it wasn't until I plugged my phone in that I was like, I should be thankful my, my phone didn't blow up just now. <laughs> and that was only because I was writing this list. And so for the, you know, when we're not in this mood of thankfulness and when we're not in November and when we're not in Thanksgiving, um, you know, I encourage you to start this month. This is the time, this is the place, this is now to start to think about things that you can be grateful for. And so each day this month, let's practice together to think about something that we can be grateful for before we go to sleep, you know? Whether, and, and I encourage you to think about things that are both, you know, on an empathetic level and a sympathetic level. And this will um, truly be character building. It might form into a habit for you. As a matter of fact, if there's something that you're like super grateful for one day, give thanks again the next day and add on to it, you know? You, you'll be surprised how many things at the end of 30 days that you'll be like, wow, I have so much to be grateful for. And you'll become, you'll see this pattern become a habit and uh, it'll build your character, it'll be great to uh, be grateful. And um, you know, there's just so many things. And so in the long, at the end of, you know, maybe next year, this time, you're gonna be, and, and something bad happens to you. And I think that the, the positivity of great gratitude and, and giving thanks is that when something bad happens to you, it, it, you're like, wow, I had like 120 days last year that I was thankful that I, I wasn't sick, you know? Like, I'm sick today, Psh, nothing. I had 120 days, like, sick free. This is gonna be awesome. So start today, this month. Let's, I wanna encourage everybody to practice giving gratitude for one thing, and um, I'll do it along with you. Let's all keep, uh, keep each other accountable. I think that always helps, too. So thank you again for your time.